partisanship. So Labor's uh, view on this <coughs> is very important and it is uh, critical to some point. That's why in the studio joining me now is a deputy chair of the Joint Intelligence Committee, Anthony Byrne. Now, you, as I point out, are the deputy chair of this powerful committee. You also saw one of these terror attacks happen in your own electorate. So you're one of the most qualified to comment on this. Should we be following the path of the United Kingdom? I think, Laura, the, <clears throat> the better way to address this is to say, well, if the government's got a proposition, as with the previous three and a half tranches of legislation, could we please see it? There's a lot of commentary, but what I would like to see is hard legislation that we can then refer to the committee. Because as you can see in this vacuum, you've got this ongoing commentary happening now. Who is that helping? I think that the Prime Minister's articulated a view. I'd like to see his view then translated into legislation that comes before the Parliament that then our committee as the, the committee that's tasked with reviewing that mm -hmm. legislation could look at. And I think that would actually, that would be a good way forward. Okay, I understand that, but in principle, what is your view? Are you in agreement with Dan Tain on this one? But it's not a, an in principle position because just with data retention, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a very strong track record of saying, if the agencies need the powers to keep our country safe, then, then let us know. But we haven't even got to that position yet. I mean, the fact is that we have, we're having a discursive, broad discussion about what the government may or might not be doing. But the discussion paper's up on the website. We've looked at the issue of dual nationals. So if there is judicial oversight, is the community expectation, do you think that the government should have the power to revoke citizenship, should have that tool available to them to revoke citizenship of second generation well, Australians? But we haven't had a look at, we haven't actually had this matter considered. With data retention, we had a discussion through my committee Committee, there were formal findings and then what happened was that the government brought legislation to the table. That's not happening. So I think what the government needs to do, if I can urge them respectfully, enough of the conversation, bring the legislation that you want contemplated by this parliament to the table so that the committee can give it appropriate consideration. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I suddenly articulated a private view. The fact is that this matter gets contemplated by the committee and then the committee comes to, to a deliberation and clearly there are diverging views about this in the community. But enough of the conversation, bring the legislation forward and let's have a discussion once that legislation hits the parliament. Anthony Byrne, Peter Van Onselen here. Can I just ask you a question about it? I mean, I heard what you just said then about uh, not really wanting to offer a private view, but I can't think of a parliamentarian better placed to do that with exactly what Laura mentioned about what happened in your electorate, your position uh, on that sure. committee. Uh, I'd just like to know, and you must know that the government are trying to make political mileage out of asking the question, what's Labor's response? You're a backbencher, you're free to give a view. What, what is your personal view on this? I mean, do you think, for example, that this is a debate that we have to have in relation to removing citizenship, at least from dual nationals? Well, I'm presuming an answer to your question, Peter, that what is happening here is that <clears throat> the Prime Minister has received advice from the security agencies that this is a pathway that we need to go forward, and that's always informed my view. And so I have an expectation that the Prime Minister will then put that legislation before. And, and Peter, I also have had a track record when data retentions come before us and the previous three and a half pieces of legislation, I haven't commented on it until it's gone through the committee process because then I'd be prejudging a particular piece of legislation. And don't forget, as an oversight committee, our job is to look objectively and independently on behalf of the parliament and the people of this country at this legislation and then we come to a view. So we would not like to preempt. I think, Peter, what's going to happen is that this is going to become before the committee. I would just urge this confusion that's occurred to be remedied by bringing this legislation that I know is being drafted as we speak forward so we can have a proper conversation in the proper environment and have a proper objective <laughs> examination of the issues that are being put forward. All right, not yeah, an unreasonable even, observation. Uh, no, but I was just going to say as well, Peter, there is, Anthony, within views within your party that you should be stronger, mm. Labor should be stronger in supporting this at this early stage. Would you at least admit that that is a view within the Labor right? There are a variety of views within the caucus about this matter, but then that re-emphasises my, re my um, point that I think we need to bring this before a committee. Just as there are views in the community, there also needs to be views, they, these views are, there's a clearinghouse where these views can be contemplated and that's the Intelligence and Security Committee. 
And frankly, the longer that we leave it before it goes to the committee, I think the more mm -hmm. uh, sort of discursive and less focused this debate gets. So when, we, when we, will we get with your personal views? If this goes before the committee, I'm going to get you back and we're going to discuss this, Welcome right? Welcome to discuss it any time. Okay, Anthony Byrne, Chair of the Joint Intelligence Committee. Thank you. Thanks very much.